Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from um, Simux Code and this is another part of our video tutorial series on how to create a point of sale system using JavaFX and MySQL. So in this video, we're going to continue uh, working with our project and basically from this video, we're gonna spice up our app. Um, basically, we will try to implement the shortcut uh, function key. So for example, if we click the new order, uh, we should be able to uh, trigger this by using only the function keys in our keyboard. Uh, same with the function two, three, function four. So if we click the function four, we should be able to open this uh, dialog box where we can you know manage our products so same with the other buttons and also we're going to improve the um, colors of our point of sale system so maybe turning this into somewhat um, dark um, just to improve the user interface of our point of sale system so first off let's just try to implement the function keys um, shortcut um, keys for our buttons so let's just close this for now and um, open up your dashboard controller if you are following with this particular tutorial so open up our dashboard controller and I think we don't have the um, method right here so what what we want is to open up our our dashboard.fxml file and it's going to open the scene builder for us Okay, so this is the scene builder, right? And um, what we want is to click the border pane right here. And um, under code here, uh, let's just create or add a method for handling the key press uh, here. So what we will add here is just a method so handle um, key press okay and then let's just save this and let's go back to our NetBeans uh, IDE and regenerate our controller okay so it should um, generate the method for us and from here we could just uh, for example get the a pressed key so event that get uh, code so let's just let's just try this for now so um, save and let's just build the application or the project itself and uh, it should you know give us the latest uh, version of our application so we're, we're just doing this just to test the key press event of our um, application so admin and admin and we should be able to press f1 so as you can see uh, here in our ad output uh, f1 uh, okay so key press F1, uh, F3, F4, 5, 6, and so on. So uh, we know that this particular um, method that we have in our dashboard controller class is working because we're getting the key pressed um, or the code for the keys that we are pressing. So what we could do is try to add the switch statement right here we're gonna try to check the code of the characters being pressed or the keys or the key uh, keyboard keys that being pressed by the user so switch event that get code and in case that the user uh, press uh, f1 okay and then we could say here um, uh, F1 triggered in our dashboard this is new order ok 
Okay, so let's just say for example new order. New order. Case F2 uh, break and then that will be payment. Okay, so um, I think we could uh, change the term for payment. Okay, uh, let's just use that for now. So payment triggered. Okay, F3 in our dashboard F3 represents cancel order. cell order and then f4 that will be um, manage products right manage products okay um, case f5 that will be manage table okay case f6 okay f6 will be sales report sales report and lastly that will be f7 and this will be for logging out from our system so log out okay so basically we're just doing this just to check uh, if the user clicks or press any of these keys right here and then we, we should trigger the right method so for example we're gonna open the manage products or even manage table if the user press f4 or f5 so um, where is it okay so we could just copy and paste this so this one is for managing the table right okay and this one is for managing our um, product okay um, manage products there we go so now if we try to build our program try to log in So admin and admin and then okay so if we, if we try to press F5 it should open this particular um, dialog box or window where we could you know manage our table so the same thing with our um, F4 to manage our products okay so as you can see uh, that's how easy to handle the um, shortcuts or yeah shortcuts for buttons for the buttons and other elements inside our application so we could do that in all of the options that we have here so in the future we will try to work with other uh, other buttons so for now let's just um, stick to the f4 and f5 so f4 to manage the products and f5 to manage the table so now let's um, take some time to um, update the look and feel of our um, application okay because um, we want to update this uh, for example we could change the font because uh, the application right now is using the default uh, font and also we could change the colors for this particular 
um, uh, you know, the uh, this particular area, same with this, and also um, maybe the buttons, we can also uh, change the colors for that um, as a way of, you know, improvement. Um, as you can see, we I, I, I do have an example here. Uh, I think I have shown you this from the other tutorial. Um, let's just open this. So I just want to show you uh, an example of what, what we can do with our UI. So I want to make our UI just like this. Uh, like darken our UI uh, just like this. So I'm gonna try to change the UI for our dashboard, change the, the CSS and let's start. So let's just close this for now and open our dashboard controller um, right here or I mean dashboard.fxml file. There you go. Okay, so I think we're using this particular um, this is hbox so if we go to properties we have this particular background color so what we could do is try to copy this color right here so this is using 1916 and 19 for the background color so background color okay And maybe change because uh, this particular UI uses um, some sort of uh, gradient for the background of the button so actually we could do that uh, inside our application so but I think right now this one will, will uh, suffice uh, maybe we could change that later on but for now let's change also the other areas so for example here we're using this particular background okay so we could also use that here okay just to spice up our application um, here also we could just close this I mean change this okay uh, and maybe uh, change also the background of this into some uh, dark color for example um, I think I'm using okay dark panel so this one sales info so let me just search for that okay so 4646 background color and then 4646 okay okay so if you want you could change also the colors for the other uh, elements so for example the button um, yeah the buttons and also we could change the color for our table so because here as you can see the table we have here um, uses different um, CSS colors and styles so we could just copy and paste this or I mean um, copy the UI that we have here the colors uh, in particular so uh, yeah okay um i think I, I, we could just do that in the next video so i think for now uh we accomplished the um, shortcuts of our buttons the function keys and um we also changed the color a bit uh, making it darker uh, in the next video we're going to populate the UI 
or I mean populate this area with uh, what we have in our database uh, same thing here so all the elements here should be coming from our database and also here so that whenever we click on this um, I, I mean we could make this dynamic because uh, whenever we add a new product it should be displayed here okay and then if we click on this we could add this into the cart and um, sum up the total or the price here and then we could you know complete the order by by clicking on the payment option right here so i think that's all there is to it in this particular video and if you like uh, this particular tutorial you could follow uh, and watch the next video uh, and if you are new here in our youtube channel uh, i'm asking you to subscribe and press the notification bell for you to get updated whenever we have a new upload regarding this POS using JavaFX and MySQL. So that's it for now and thank you for watching.